Hi, Dr. Jared here. I just got noticed that the ASDA District 8 meeting has been rescheduled. One of the things I was excited to share with the students is vital pulp therapy here, tooth number 30. We treated this at my office with MTA and a restoration and reevaluated the tooth after about three months. At that time, I was comfortable with the apical healing, the positive vitality to go ahead and do a three quarter crown on this tooth. We did Sprint Ray Onyx. And it got me to thinking of restoring these teeth after endodontics or vital pulp therapy. And my dad, after he retired here, gave me all of his lectures. I've got over 60 gigabytes, which is way more data than I've ever given with lectures. And one of the first ones I opened was restoration of endodontically treated teeth. And one of the first articles that is cited in that is from Ray and Trope. And from the article back in 1995, it compares restorations and good endodontics in over a thousand teeth and good restorations resulted in significantly more success compared to good endodontics. Poor restorations resulted in significantly more inflammation compared to poor endodontics. The combination of a good restoration and endodontics resulted in a success rate of 91% compared to a success rate of 18% uh, with the combination of poor endodontics and a poor restoration. So what you do after really matters, and that's something that I've learned. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about this in, in Vegas next week on how we can move things forward to take care of these teeth, but I'm a little more aggressive now with the 3D printing on doing uh, onlay or a three quarters crown for these kids. Super simple to do, it can be done the same day. You can have it printed in the mouth in 30 minutes, and it's a great service to your patients.